this guy needs advice. He needs advice for new Facebook campaign for SaaS product, lookalike audience, or new targeting. And I'm gonna give you the answer in this video. This guy says, I'm about to launch a Facebook ad campaign for a new product offer and I'm a bit stuck deciding which audience to target. It's a lifetime deal for a starter plan that offers a lot of value price at $149. The dilemma, should I go with lookalike of current customers or try to target an entirely new audience based on interests and behaviors? Has anyone here found, found success going one route over other when running campaigns or SaaS products? I would love to hear your experience and tips. I'm relatively new to running ads on Facebook, so any advice would be helpful. And this guy is following. He has the same question. So in order for you to create a lookalike audience of purchase users, you need to have, I think, 100 or 150 purchase users from the same country. So this is one of the things that you need to keep in mind. If you have a 100 uh, purchase users, you can easily create a lookalike audience, right? If, from my experience, I've run campaigns for a SaaS company and, it's, and we scaled this SaaS business quite a lot. So when it comes to running ads for SaaS business, this is some of the things you could do. The way I would structure the campaign, I would actually test lookalike um, compared to let's say compared to interest so this is what i would do if you if you can, can create a lookalike so this should be lookalike purchase you can test one percent but what you can do as well you can also test let me make this bigger so this is one of the audiences you could test lookalike of purchase users right very very simple stuff fundamental stuff the way I would structure it, I would test lookalike purchase of 2% and I would, and I would add 3%, right? Here, it's very important to give those audiences the same budget. So you can do either $50 per day. $50 per day would be ideal, but you can go for, let's say, 15 or 20 or even 10 if you don't have a budget. So let's say 10. So this will be the budget for each audience. So here, as you can see, I'm testing three audiences. And on top of those audiences, what I would also do, I would add three interests, right? So this will be the structure. This will be the structure. So let me zoom out. So in total, I'm going to test six audiences. And this will be interest one. This will be interest two. And it's going to be the exact same interest three right very very simple stuff exactly the same budget for each campaign what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run the ads for four to five days and i'm gonna see what's working if if i believe if i see that the lookalike is working good for me i'm gonna keep the lookalike uh running but i might also get decent results from one of the interests right so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna run the ads Let's say those are the ads that work for me. The rest of the ads I'm going to kill, right? Also, there are a lot of like lookalike audiences you can create. It's not just um, the purchase users. You can create a lookalike audience based on people who visited your website. You can create a lookalike audience based on people who spent most time on your website. You can create lookalike audiences based on Facebook and Instagram followers and so on. So this is the basic idea behind the structure. So here, what I believe to you're doing, you're overthinking it. Just do the setup I gave you. Run the ads for three, four days. See what's working, what's not working. And it's pretty, pretty simple. This is it, man. This is it. So am I getting good results from lookalike audiences? It depends on the ad account. Some niche ad accounts work very, very well. Uh, but if it's like a broad, more mass appeal product, the interest also work. So a lot of people will say uh, lookalike audiences don't work anymore, but this is not the case for me. I'm getting decent results from lookalike audiences. 
in some of the ad accounts I manage. Thank you for watching. My name is Nico. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon.